moment on this show when we can highlight incredible people making a difference in the world. And our next guest certainly falls under that category. Brooke Johns is an ER nurse who goes above and beyond. And even when she's not on the clock, you will find her at work spreading joy to her patients one braid at a time. Please welcome Brooke Johns. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, Brooke, you're an ER nurse. Yes. And that is not enough? You want to go an extra mile beyond that? Yes. Um, in the ER, we, we see people at their at worst. Um, they are in pain. They're scared. They're grieving. And I, in my job, get to help comfort them. How do you know what to say, when to say it? Is it an art form? Can anybody learn it? Do you have it inherently? I think that you can learn it, but I also think that it comes from being able to sit in the dark with people. You can't fix it. You can't say anything that's going to make some things better, but you can hold a space for people. How did you discover that braids would come into the picture? How did that actually literally come about? The first situa situation was actually my friend. Uh, she was hospitalized at, at the hospital they work at, that's Southern Hills Hospital, and she, I got special permission uh, to go up and visit her during these COVID times, simply because I worked there. And because she was hospitalized for so long, I mean, if you think about it, when, when you're sick at home, your self-care comes second. You know, you're in your pajamas all day. Did you brush your hair? I don't know, you know, and multiply that by 10 times and that's how these people are feeling in the hospital. They're not well enough to be at home. So upon going up to visit her, I recognized that she hadn't had, she didn't have the strength to be able to brush her own hair. So I asked her if she wouldn't mind if I brushed it out for her and, and braided it so it wouldn't get tangled again. So Okay, uh, this is, it's just so beautiful. It's so moving. Yeah, My that, that's, goodness. Yeah. How did this set you off on a path? Uh, I noticed it, it's not just about the braid, you know. Um, yes, her hair was now brushed and braided, and she felt better simply because she was kept, she was well kept and she looked better. But it's the conversation that we had, the time spent, that human connection that we all crave, that she was a different person when I left. And it just got my wheels spinning that there were perhaps lots of these ladies sitting in the hospital wanting to connect with somebody, needing to connect with somebody. And the braid is just a bonus, you know? There is something I feel very intimate between women when you braid somebody's hair, it's something your mom does for you or, or a loved neighbor. You know, it's, it is just a very safe and comforting gesture. And I have gotten to be exposed to some of the bravest people that have literally stories that will bring you to your knees. And I get to listen to them. I heard that you've also inspired others because your bravery was obviously bringing something really positive that felt good, that was tangible, that was evident, and you inspired others to join you? Yeah, uh, I have had a few of the nurses go up and, and braid with me, and they all say the same thing. I mean, it's just, what a great experience. I feel like I got more than I gave. And it's true, when you, when you listen to and watch and help people, you always get more out of it than you give. I think what you're doing is anything but little. It's so huge. And is it true that you and your fellow nurses are like doing all of this out of your own pocket? Yeah, so I, I do purchase the brushes and the hair, um, little hair ties that I use. And the, the, the biggest fan favorite is the spray and conditioner, you know, the detangler. Uh, but yes, I, I don't view it as, oh, this is coming out of my pocket. Those are my tools. Those are my tools to be able to help people, so. Well, uh, we would love to help you continue to do the amazing work here. And Sally Beauty is going to give you a $5,000 gift card. Um, and also lots of care packages and some essentials. Thank you. And I, I really think that 
sometimes I need to meet people like you. I need to hear your stories. When we all leave here, we're probably going to go watch the news. We're going to see a lot of stuff out there that's happening that just feels bigger than our control. And maybe little things are the thing we need yeah. um, because they're not little, they're big. And I just love what you do because you're going to make me know that life is good with good people and that there are people taking care of each other out there and it is not all broken. And you are my personal hope. So thank you so much for doing what you do. We need to know um, about the Brooks out there in the world. And thank you for just being who you are and taking care of others. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you, Brooke, so much. Your story moves me to no end. Thank you, Brooke.